Hi there, I'm Duane, Business Solution Specialist here at Priority Communication Systems. Today I'm going to be discussing OB and some of the options that you have both mechanically as well as through software options to not only calibrate but also adjust the screen size for OB projection. I'm also going to be going over scheduling for the autonomous operation of OB and uh, we'll also cover setting up some playlists so that during those schedules it'll run right into one of the playlists that you've uh, designated for your residents. Thanks very much and let's go! All right, as you can see, we're now at the home screen for Obi. Uh, we're gonna go over a couple of the settings that we have through Obi to finish setting up. You can see that my picture isn't quite right at the way it's currently displayed. I wanna go into settings. I'll discuss with you play mode first. This is how you will be switching between floor, table, and wall modes. Uh, you simply select which mode you'd like to be in. Click OK. It'll adjust the keystones for you, uh, or give you an opportunity rather, to adjust the keystones and then calibrate automatically for you. My system won't calibrate fully correctly because I have the camera attached to Obi right now, slightly in the way of the sensors. Over here we have uh, your internet mode. We have a bunch of networks that are available wirelessly, but then we're currently connected to a hardwired ethernet connection. We do strongly recommend that you're always using an Ethernet connection. However, um, if wireless is the only option, uh, we do strongly suggest that you choose an internal network that will not have any type of splash page. Um, but you are able to simply choose a network connection and then enter in the security passcode to connect it to the Internet. Time zone, pretty simple, pretty basic. Choose the closest time zone that resembles where you are at and choose it. This is important for things like the uh, scheduling mode when you want to run it autonomously. Adjust projection. This is pretty much the very first place you're going to want to stop to adjust the screen to make sure it's projecting the way that you need it to. Of course, you're going to need to ensure that the span, the physical span, as well as the focus on OB are set correctly prior to putting the ladder away and getting to this step. Although once you're here, you can set adjust projection. We'll start with the keystones. Keystones adjust the horizontal and vertical skews. You can see there is a depiction of what will happen as I move the horizontal slider to the left. The left hand side will actually get narrower. If I'm on vertical skew, if I slide the, the, um, the, 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 move the slider to the left, I will end up with the bottom row becoming narrower, which is what I want to do now. You can see that it's adjusting the display to make more of a rectangle for me. And you simply select done when you're done. Again, I won't calibrate because I have a camera interfering with the sensors at this exact point in time. All right, moving on from settings, we're going to move to schedules. I currently have no schedule set for this device. I am going to click the plus sign, which is already highlighted in the upper right hand side. This now shows me a schedule that I can set up. I can set up a start time being, say, 11 a.m. to an end time being, let's say, uh, 1800 p.m. or 6 p.m. I am then able to select either all days or select a handful of days based on the operation. To save this, simply highlight save and it'll save this particular program. So autonomously, by itself, it will wake up at 11 a.m. every Monday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and it will automatically shut off at 6 p.m. on those days. I can actually have numerous schedules set. If I wanted to, I could have Obi wake up at 6 a.m., turn off at noon, every single day, and you can see it's highlighted now, 
And that way it turns off for lunch services uh, if you need it. I can save this program and when I go back to the other screen after it shows me as a save program, I can add another schedule if I want it. This additional schedule can then be set up to turn on at 1 p.m. and turn off at, let's say, let's say 6 p.m. Oops. And I can have that set for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Once again, click Save. This would be the second schedule I would have saved. So I currently have it set to turn on in the morning, turn off for lunch, turn on again after lunch, but only on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I can layer as many schedules as necessary. If you have Obi in a common area, a common space, and you need uh, to utilize the room for something other than Obi, you can simply factor that into your scheduling and Obi will automatically be turned off by the time you arrive to the room. Spending a little bit of time here working with the schedules that are um, scheduling uh, tool that's available to you, um, spending a little time here will really, really um, reap rewards later on. You won't need to be dispatching somebody from the front door to turn OB on every day or turn it off every day. You can be sure that when you leave the facility, there's no worry that you left a game or the game system running um, after you left. Um, really great feature. You can put numerous schedules in on top of each other so that way it really, really kind of fits within your facility uh, very well. I have not saved either of these programs, so when I go back one page, you'll see that there are currently no, none saved. You will actually see your saved schedules layered here on this page when you back out. The next topic I'd like to discuss is setting up playlists. Playlist functions really allow myopic ability to control a playlist that you can uh, be utilizing on a schedule. It will wake up, go to this playlist, and play that playlist throughout the day in the order within the parameters you've set up for it. As you can see, I currently have general playlist loaded. It is my only playlist. So I'll select playlists, and you'll see that general is uh, allowing me to run through some settings. Many of the games within the system have a cog beside them that allow you to adjust individual game settings. I'll select balloons extended and select the cog. Clicking OK, you'll see that it gives me the icon for the game, whether or not I want sound effects or not by highlighting, turning on or off the sound effects turning on or off the tutorial, starting the game on a higher level, or indeed changing the entire difficulty for that game to, let's say, hard. Always remember that on everything with playlists, you do actually have to apply these settings. So only once I apply these settings here will what I've changed take effect. If I wanted to do a little bit more managing of this existing playlist, we'll select the wrench. The wrench allows me to delete games from my playlist, set the time for each of the games on my playlist, move the game to the top of the playlist, move the game to the bottom of the playlist, and you can even grab the game by highlighting the up and down arrows. Essentially, I've grabbed this game tile and I can drag it down the list. You can now see that Around the World has been moved to the bottom of the first page. I can then also grab it and drag it back upwards. These are an ability to move games around. So maybe Around the World isn't a game that you'd like to play first thing in the morning. Maybe you'd rather 
move bingo to first thing in the morning. You can do that and you can even set the time individually to one hour. So now you'll notice that bingo will play for one hour and all the remaining games will play for five minutes each. If I wanted to change the settings for all of the games, I highlight the clock that's on the upper left hand side. This is indicating that this is a playlist option. And I can set all of the games for 20 minutes. And you'll now notice that all of them have changed 20 minutes. So again, you can change by default every game's time limit and even increase individual games time limits so now bingo will play for an hour and all the rest will play for 20 minutes this allows some great ability to be able to manage your playlist in such a way that you can have the games that are the most engaging playing at the most engaging times always important to ensure that you apply these settings before leaving your playlist after changing any of these options I won't change this one, this is my demo playlist, but I will show you how we're going to go ahead and create a brand new playlist. So again, from the main playlist page, we're gonna to go to playlist, select okay. I currently only have the one playlist, but I'm gonna to go to manage playlists. Here you can see the one I have. I will simply highlight plus, I will create a new playlist. We're just going to leave the title as new playlist. However, you can name it whatever you like, whether that be cognitive games, motoric therapy games, or even a playlist dedicated to a specific resident that you find um, has a certain short list of games that they find engaging. We'll click done as I've now created my new playlist. To make things easy, I'm going to simply duplicate an existing playlist. If I have numerous playlists already, you would notice them all highlighted in the drop down menu. Let's go ahead and set up a very short playlist from scratch, though, where I won't be duplicating an existing uh, playlist. So we'll save this. It will automatically give you the option that we've created a new playlist. However, you don't have any games in your playlist. So we're going to go to the library, which it prompts you automatically. We're going to load this game. We're going to select games to add. And we'll add Bingo, a fan favorite. But I'm actually going to add Bingo three times, because I would like Bingo to play three times throughout my playlist. I will then add Autumn Leaves, something nice and relaxing for sundowning. Maybe we will add a classic matchup game. and a painting game. So now we go back to the main screen. You'll see that my new playlist has the games that I have now added to it. If I want to make adjustments to this playlist, I simply come to playlists, select the wrench. We will move bingo down to play almost at the end of the day. We will move Autumn Leaves for a sundowning game right at the end of the day. We'll have Bingo play first thing, and then maybe we'll move Car up in between. We want to make sure that we have every game playing for 20 minutes. Sorry, every game, pardon me, playing for 20 minutes. And now I will select bingos to play for one hour each.
Now, within a very short amount of time, you can see we've set up a playlist to reach maximum engagement from my imaginary facility. We have new playlist labeled how I wanted it. It has six games in it. I have bingo playing for an hour first thing in the morning. Then we'll play car for 20 minutes, bingo again for an hour, classic matchup for 20, bingo for an hour, and autumn leaves, sundowning the day for 20 minutes. It will actually just roll through this playlist continually throughout the day until such time as the schedule tells it to turn off or you come and turn it off with the remote itself. So there's some really neat features of being able to um, find playlists, create playlists, select playlists, and manage the maximum amount of engagement out of your system. Lastly, I'll do a brief introduction to the library uh, function on Obi. You've seen me utilize it in selecting and creating playlists. We're going to select library. This displays all of the content that is currently on your uh, Obi. This is irrespective of what uh, playlist you currently have loaded. This will show you every game that is currently available on Obi. You can highlight whether you want adventure games, action games, casual games, multiplayer games, competition, strategy, or even educational. This just gives you the ability to sort through the games, see which ones by default are considered um, valuable for their certain therapeutic um, uh, abilities. It also allows you to select the game itself, get a little bit of information on the game, or add it to the current playlist by using the plus sign on the bottom right hand side which you saw me utilize several times in the playlist portion of this movie. And that's just a quick rundown of library. For the most part, once you have a playlist um, that you're satisfied with, um, mine is general, it has every game uh, loaded for demo purposes. Um, I generally use this, if you've seen my demos, use this to select all the games um, I have this playlist set out basically for my use in demos, um, but this could be the way that you choose to navigate through your games uh, given the side-scrolling way that it displays them. And there are the icons that you're going to find on your home screen for Obi. And there you have it. We've completed the physical install of Obi. We've trimmed out the picture quality to ensure that it fits the needs of your facility and the area that you have designated for Obi's use. We've set up the autonomous operation of Obi through the use of scheduling, and we've made sure that the playlist is adjusted to get the maximum engagement from your residents. If you have any further questions that you'd like to dive into with Obi or what Obi can do for your facility, contact us at Priority Communication Systems. Once again, I'm Dwayne Jacka. Thanks for joining us today. Have a great day.